Hey guys, it's Ropsi back with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will be comparing OneNote and Notability, mostly focusing on the differences between these two applications. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. I am still a bit scared to open my notability. I feel like each time I open the application, I'll find all my notes gone because I have been traumatized. <laughs> Anyway, I have with me OneNote on the left and Notability on the right. Starting from the home page, both applications don't support folders within folders for their organization, but OneNote has a three hierarchy system and you can also add sub pages to your notes and that in a way gives you more organization options in OneNote than it does in Notability. You only get dividers and within those dividers you can have subjects then have your notes within the subjects. Both applications are not great with organization but OneNote takes a point for this one because it essentially has more hierarchies and that sort of gives you more options. If you really want to understand OneNote as a note-taking application, I did a full review of OneNote and I will link it in the description down below. I also recommend that you watch the review that I did on Notability and the latest Notability updates as well. Because in this video, I'm not really going to be going into detail on exactly what each application does because I've already done that. I'm just going to be indicating differences within the applications that might matter when you're choosing your note-taking application. A very very important point which I should have mentioned first is that OneNote is a free note-taking application by Microsoft and Notability costs about $10. It's a one-time payment. The prices may range from one region to another bear that in mind. So for pricing, I will give OneNote a point. Though I've got to say that I'm not sure just how free OneNote would be because OneNote syncs through OneDrive. When you look at it that way, OneNote might not actually be free after you've run out of the free space which you get on your OneDrive, which is about five gigabytes. Has anyone managed to use up their free cloud storage? that comes with OneNote. Anyone? Let me know in the comment section down below. So bear that in mind. OneNote might only be free for as long as you're still using the free five gigabytes that comes for free with your OneDrive. After that, you will have to pay a monthly subscription for your OneDrive, which is necessary for you to be able to use OneNote. So I'm not really sure if I should take away the point from, no, I shouldn't. I won't. Okay. And because OneNote only backs up to OneDrive and doesn't give you any other options, I will give this point to Notability for supporting five backup cloud services. Six if you include iCloud, which you should. OneNote syncs across all your devices regardless of the operating system they run. So you can have your OneNote on iOS, on Windows, on Android. As long as you have your application on these devices, you can pick up your notes from any device and you can even access them online which is great but notability only syncs across your ios and mac devices mac os which is a huge disappointment i asked the notability team about a year ago maybe longer whether they were considering to have a windows version of the application and they said no and so for syncing across devices i am giving one point to one note now let's talk about the user interface. Both applications have decent user interfaces for what they do. Bear in mind that these are completely different applications. They do different things. While I'd say Notability is primarily a note-taking application, OneNote is more of an organization and collaboration app because it allows you to have everything you want on a particular subject or topic on one canvas. Since they are such different applications, there's not much that's missing in the interface 
interface for what they're designed to do. And OneNote is familiar. If you've used Microsoft Word or any Microsoft applications, you will be very comfortable using OneNote. And Notability is very intuitive. You can easily just figure it out. And so no point really goes to any application because their interface, though they're different applications, their interfaces are both very good. Next, we'll talk about page customization. Both applications really suck with this actually, but at least OneNote has an infinite canvas. You can import templates into the application and make them a background, then use them instead of using your apps pages, which is a lot to go through if you are trying to add pages to your notes. Um, and so not very user friendly. Notability, even after updating and adding dotted paper to their application, still remains the worst app when it comes to page customization. There is very little you can do to pages in Notability. By that, I mean there is one thing you can do to your pages in Notability, and that is to change their color. You can't rotate the pages, you can't resize them, and importing a page is a pain, just like it is in OneNote, actually, because importing pages into OneNote is is also a massive pain. In OneNote, you can insert space within your pages between your notes in case you want to add something to that section. Let's say you forgot something or there's something important that you need to add somewhere in your notes and you don't want to do it on a different page and you don't want to do it at the bottom of the page. You want to do it in this little space uh, because it's relevant to that. Notability gives you fixed pages. A4 size, nothing more, nothing less. So for this, I would say one point goes to OneNote. The writing experience in OneNote has improved dramatically, especially after their last biggest update. It has become much smoother, but however, Notability's inking is still superior and we can't even compare the two when it comes to writing experience. And so for this, I will give Notability a point. The eraser tool. OneNote has one of the worst erasers I have seen in any note-taking application yet. It is not fluid at all, so this point definitely goes to Notability. Their most recent update, which I have done a video of, I will link that video in the description down below. Notability improved their eraser dramatically. Not only can you now erase per pixel, you can also choose the size of your eraser. And I was like, what? Notability now has the best eraser I have seen in any note-taking application and therefore one point for Notability. Next, we'll talk about the highlighter. Notability sucks with this. It dims your highlighted sections by placing the highlighter over your handwritten notes and you can see highlight layers if you overlap your highlights, which I really don't like. In OneNote, however, the highlighter is brilliant. It makes your notes pop out of your page and your highlights don't overlap each other. And so I am giving this point to OneNote. Both applications have OCR, but in Notability, you can convert your text in real time. OneNote offers you OCR mostly through the immersive reader option, which converts your whole document at once and it's not very accurate, which is to be expected. If the application is going to convert everything at once, I mean, only Nebo can pull that off because Nebo is strictly an OCR application. The OCR in OneNote not very good. Notability allows you to convert your text and you can edit the conversion before you add it to your notes. You can choose what you convert and you can selectively convert certain sections of your notes. So I would give one point to Notability. Both applications will allow you to search through your handwriting without any problem. The selection tool in Notability only selects handwriting. So if your application has pictures and text, you won't be able to move them together, which makes rearranging your notes a pain in Notability. In OneNote, however, you can select and move inserts, uh, your lists, your tables, your text, everything, everything. You can move everything together as long as you've selected it, which I find is really good for rearranging your notes. So that is much simpler and easier to do 
in OneNote. In Notability, the selection tool also allows you to customize your handwriting, which means that you can change the pen thickness and the color of your handwriting. All things which you can't do in OneNote. You can also rotate your sections and rotation in Notability is much more fluid and much more practical than it is in OneNote because in OneNote you can only rotate your sections through 90 degrees per rotation which makes rotation a bit difficult if you want angles between 0 and 90 in any direction so that will be a point for Notability because the selecting tool in Notability has better rotation and it allows you to customize your handwriting the selection tools are very different but Notability's selection tool offers much more than the one in OneNote. Notability has a zoom tool which allows you to zoom into your sections of your notes on your page and also allows you to see how your notes look on the bigger page at the same time. OneNote doesn't have this function so I will give a point to Notability for this one. Next we'll talk about insertions. No application beats OneNote when it comes to the number of things you can insert into your notes especially because the application supports videos. My point goes to OneNote. Notability offers you the basics. It will offer you photos sticky notes and web clips very basic stuff but OneNote allows you to add so much more next we'll talk about audio recording both applications offer this but no application does audio recording better than Notability. The audio sync to your notes is one of the reasons why I stick with Notability. In OneNote you can't use the application while you're recording which in my opinion renders the feature unusable so one point to Notability. The relationship between OneNote and other Office 365 files is one that makes sure you purchase those applications too. While you can insert files from different applications, say Microsoft Word for example, in OneNote you can only preview those notes, otherwise if you wanted to edit them or annotate on them, you will need to open them in the Word application or in other applications, which means it's pointless you adding them to OneNote in the first place unless you really want to just preview them. Notability first converts your Word documents into PDF files and it does this offline now. Only after you've converted it to a PDF file can you actually annotate on it. So both applications don't exactly offer the best options for your Word documents but at least you can annotate the ones in Notability. OneNote gives you a 100% zoom option and another one to fit everything on the screen which gives you very important options to view your page. The 100% zoom will give you an actual sense of how big your page is and the option to fit everything on your screen will give you a look and a glance at everything that's on your page no matter how big your canvas is. I love knowing how much I've zoomed into a page and these percentages that show up on your page are super helpful. Notability had this feature once for like an hour and then they removed it. Obviously that was an exaggeration. A lot of us would really appreciate if Notability brought that back so that we'll be able to know how zoomed in your page is at any particular time when you're zooming in and out. So for this I'm giving one point to OneNote. OneNote has stickers and tags for your notes which helps you tag important sections of your notes that you need to get back to. It just really makes your notes more practical and if there's really things that we really need to get back to, they are much easier to see and identify in OneNote than they are in Notability. And so for this, I will give OneNote a point. Due to the infinite canvas size, notes in OneNote can be very difficult to share with other applications. If you're creating your notes in OneNote, my assumption is that you intend to keep those notes in that application for their entire existence. Notability due to the fixed A4 size makes it easier to export your notes to other applications and for those of you that need to print out assignments for or documents to share with your colleagues for whatever reason, you are better off using Notability. Is that worth a point? I am not sure sure there are different applications for different things so I'm not really going to award a point for either. I think that covers all the major differences between Notability and OneNote. Um, and I just have to say OneNote creates better typed notes because it has a lot of features from Microsoft Word than Notability. Notability is mostly a handwriting 
no taking application did i leave anything out are there any features that i didn't talk about would you guys like me to go through the similarities and the different approaches to the similarities in the applications let me know in the comment section down below i hope you guys found this video useful give it a thumbs up if you did let me know what you guys think about this comparison between notability and OneNote. thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video